Yo, what's Gucci with a Veterans Military back again with another banger. Today we're going to be talking about life after 100% permanent total. If you like this type of content, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let's get it. Uh. So, first of all, once I we'll just go by my, you know, personal experience. You know, once I got 100% permanent total, what did I do? First thing I did was make sure I take care of them student loans, baby. Because uh, I ain't about to be no peasant having these student loans affect my credit. And if you're one of those veterans who have children utilizing student loans, you, you're using student loans, maybe, I mean, not so much your spouse, but if you or your children are utilizing federal student loans and your children's student loans are under your name, once you get 100% permanent total, as well as there's other uh, classifications or um, criteria. You don't have to be 100% permanent total, but there are some uh, different criteria needed for uh, the, uh, you know, that program if you're at 100% permanent total, whatever the case may be. But, hey, completely wiped. Wiped. So, hey, I got a bat, I got my second master's degree completely free, completely taken care of, as well as I think I took out a student loan or two while I was active duty. But, all my student loans are gone. What's the next thing I did? Hey, you know, hooked the spouse up. I'm like, hey, you know, he wants some benefits too, baby. And she's like, yes, man. yes, sir. She's like, yeah, daddy. I'm like, I got you, baby girl. I got you. So she was already in college. Took care of her through the Chapter 35 Dependent Education Program. The VA will pay your, your dependents, spouse, as well as your children, a stipend to pretty much go to college. They'll pay them monthly as long as they're in the end as long as they're attending classes, whether it be in person or digitally. Now, you will you wanna definitely take advantage of it, go in person, you get the max amount, which is about 15, 1400 bucks, 14 to 1500 bucks. Hey, that's money in the bank. And if your spouse or your children are in school right now, or you know they've been in the school for like the last year, couple of months, you get 100% permanent total, Obviously, your effective date may be a couple of months, maybe a year or two prior to that date. And what you can do, go to that school, talk to them like, hey, I'm a 100% veteran. I'm trying to utilize my Chapter 35 educational benefits for my spouse, for my children. Okay, cool. Really, it's, just a, it's a simple process. It may take some time, but it's a back certification process with the school. There's nothing through the VA. However, the school needs to process it back to the VA. But all you need to do is contact the school, the veteran office, more than likely. And I'm like, hey, hey, dog, I'm trying to get these dollars. And that's 800 to 1500 bucks a month per how many months your dependents have been in school. That'll be more back pay on top of whatever difference you got once you became 100% permanent total. The best benefit I like, well, I guess not like, but you know, the... The benefit that I'm taking advantage of the most is the vehicle exemption and registration fees and stuff like that. You know, I got a 2021 vehicle. Obviously, I'm gonna take it, you know, take advantage of that over here in California. But I ain't about to be paying those 700 bucks plus in vehicle and registration fees. I ain't got time for it. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got time for that. So what I do in some states, it may be multiple vehicles, but at least in California, there's one vehicle. As well as if you have, if you do have multiple vehicles, if you want to have that disabled placard in the window, you can apply for that as well. That's a free service. It's a free charge as well. Um, per one, if you want more than that, you, I think you got to pay, uh, you know, five or eight bucks for the second one. But anyways, uh, you know, benefits out of town, property tax exemptions and stuff like that. There's a lot of benefits at 100% per total. But veterans, once they get 100%, they say, you know, they say, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with the VA and I'm done with you other veterans too. I'm done with y'all. I'm on a high class level, right? Majority of veterans, that's what they do. I got buddies. Same, you know, we all got buddies who get to 100% permanent total and they think they got damn Drake motherfucking, you know, they think they, they're untouchable now. So you can't talk to them until you're at 100% and they're not even going to help, let you know, give you any help, give you any assistance, anything like that. And, you know, I could, I could do the same thing. I could do the same thing. However, 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 I like to help veterans. Hey, because when I got out of the military, it was hard. It was difficult. It was cloudy, foggy, whatever the case may be, however you want to call it. But I didn't have that assistance that, that, you know, I didn't have someone to lean on. I didn't have information at the time back when I got out to look for a reference when it came to VA disability, any veteran benefits, compensation, anything like that. It definitely would have helped back then, 
But, you know, you got to struggle a little bit. You got to get yourself educated. And I'm here to educate y'all on the process. If you got any questions, hey, the videos are here. All you got to do is look at the videos from start to finish. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, help your boy get some watch time. Help y'all get educated. Bring y'all that much closer to 100% permanent total. Whatever your goal is. Not every veteran is going to be 100%. But not every veteran needs to be at a 0% or not compensatable or not even service connected. Definitely veterans need to be focusing more on the process, whether the result. Because once you understand the process, the result is there. You'll get there in due time. But you got to respect the process, respect the information, and, you know, push forward. Push forward. Stop looking at these motherfucking bills. Bills, 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 bills. I mean, hey, obviously I like bills and shit more because it keeps kicking my videos out the goddamn algorithm for some stupid ass videos talking about absolutely nothing. Talk Talking about bills and legislation that has came out and been out two, three years now. But what y'all do, y'all flock to that video, <laughs> you know, on certain creators' channels. Hey, hey, ain't knocking him. Not, I ain't knocking him. He got the views. I wish I got 45,000 views on one fucking video talking about the same thing multiple times. Every two weeks, I'm going to repost the same video. I should start doing that. I should start doing that. Clickbait. But hey, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know down in the fucking comments what... What's important? What's important? And until next time. <clears throat> pertaining to anything. VA disability. Veteran benefits. Motherfucking military chodes. Definitely military. Y'all need to start educating yourself now. Because it'll put you in a better position. Once you do get out. So you're not getting to the end. EAS. Because the military is going to work you until that very last day. And then you're fucking broke, homeless, don't know what the fuck to do. Ain't got no benefits. VA claims not in. You have no job lined up. You don't know how the GI Bill fucking works. Get educated. Focus. Realign yourself. Read the CFR 38. Look at videos that are educational, not clickbait. And until next time, this fucking Debo out. Fuck y'all. Eat ass.